Today we're at the Rainforest uh, for, uh, Flora in Hawthorne. But before we continue, let me get some uh, business out of the way. I'm a member of the Los Angeles International Fern Society. And the comments you're going to may see on this video may or may not be in agreement with the Fern Society. These are my own opinions and uh, this is separate from what the Fern Society may or may not believe. Uh, many of you may have read recently that there was a big fire in uh, California and the rainforest flora burnt down. But what actually what burnt down was they had a bunch of greenhouses down in San Diego County and that's that was totally destroyed. And this is the retail outlet uh, in Hawthorne which is unscathed and 50 miles away from the fire and uh, doing good business as usual. However, they did lose a lot of their growing stock. Today's discussion is going to be about the coronarium. And up high on the wall here on the left are two coronariums at the rainforest floor. The uh, one on the right, we believe, is a one day. You got three of them up there, okay. The coronarium gets its name from the way the shield fronds grow. They grow vertical with the uh, relatively deep lobes and they form a crown shape. Two variations in the fertile fronds. This one here has a wide fertile frond and the one on the left has narrow fertile fronds. And these two versions are fairly common in the trade. Got a couple of other video uh, still photos here I can show you. Here are a couple of still photos taken by Roy Vale. This first photo shows you the narrow fertile fronds. And the next photo shows you the wide fertile fronds. So we get two different versions of the coronarium that are pretty, pretty prominent. The shield fronds of the coronarium are unique in the sense that they stand up like a crown and they will grow in a ring around a tree forming a, a very a uh, unique crown that's uh, uh, very few other plants have that characteristic of growing circular around this host tree. The coronarium is one of them and the rhizome splits horizontally left and right to uh, achieve this uh, growth pattern. Roy Vale reports that the thickness of those shield fronds can be up to a half an inch thick. They're very lightweight and they're prone to being homes for, for ants, which provide the protein and elements for the plant to uh, survive off of. One of the disadvantages of this thick uh, shield frond is it's uh, very easy to overwater the shield frond and cause rot and other problems. The spore patches on a coronarium grow on a lobe, and uh, the it's been reported that sometimes this patch will fall off in a group and fall on the ground and then from there will dispense the uh, the uh, spore out into the environment which is unique because other you would think is an advantage to opening these sporlings while they're up in the air so they would blow individually around this photo is from uh, Roy Vale and that's showing a ripe spore patch that has not uh, dispersed its sporlings yet. Now this brown one, they're all the spore have all opened up and uh, they've all vacated and they've all gone off to uh, start a little new uh, baby somewhere. Well, that summarizes my uh, discussion on the uh, Platycerium coronarium and the two different uh, variations of it. Learning more about the Los Angeles International Fern Society. We hold our meetings the third Friday of the month at the Los Angeles Arboretum in Arcadia at 7 p.m. If you're a hobbyist growing platyceriums, you want to join this group because you'll meet other growers and learn a lot about the hobby. Uh, if you like this video and you want other people to, uh, to, to view it and you think it would be good for other platycerium lovers, click on the thumbs up button down below and that'll suggest to YouTube they should promote this video. And I got some other videos coming up in the very near future. Um, if you want to be informed when these are, are uh, produced, click the subscribe button down below and you'll be notified when these are released. 
as we say at USC, fight on, fellow Trojans.